So for our next example, let's slightly modify this function by adding a new dog test. So I've added this dog test is multiple 0, 0 and I want this to return true because 0 is an integer multiple of 0. If I take this 0 and I multiply it with any integer, I will get 0. So 0 is an integer multiple of 0. So let's actually try and execute or run these doc tests. Unfortunately, Python Tutor doesn't let us run these doc tests in the way they're supposed to be run. So to show you another web resource, I'm going to take you to Online GDB. You could of course run the code that I'm going to show you on Online GDB in your IDE, but since some of you may not have installed an IDE, I want to give everybody a web resource where you could run this code. So this is the online GDB environment. It lets us execute code for many different programming languages. Right now I am executing Python 3 code. So this is my code and I am going to click on the run uh, button. But before I do that, let me show you some code that we haven't yet seen. So down here is some syntax that I am not going to explain right now. But the short explanation of this code is this will actually test all our doc tests. So currently we have three doc tests and the code that is there at the bottom will actually check to see if all of those doc tests pass. If any of them fail, we will get a message down here telling us which ones failed. So let's click on run. And it tells us that out of those three doc tests, one of them actually failed. Which one failed? Well, the new one that we just added is multiple zero zero. It's telling us that it expected to get true. Why did it expect to get true? Because that's what we said. In this doc test, we said we are expecting the answer true. But it's telling us that what it actually got is false. So something is incorrect. The error could be with our test. Maybe we sh did not want the answer to be true. We should check this. Of course, we just argued why we want the answer to be true. So we believe the test. So what this is telling us is that there is an error in the code. We have what we call a valid test. And because our code is failing a valid test, there must be some mistake in the code. So let's re-execute the code on Python Tutor, this time with the integers 0 and 0.